Hi Vinyl Community, my name is Virgil, welcome to my listening room. Tonight I want to show another piece of equipment, one that I've uh, picked up about three and a half years ago, this particular console cassette deck. And to complement what we're going to do and see tonight is uh, I'm going to go ahead and record off of this LP that was produced about uh, 40 years ago, still sealed. And to do that process using the deck, we'll go ahead and use a tape from 1992, some new old stock Sony UX Pro 90. The owner's manual for the cassette deck, it's a uh, dual C939, uh, made in Germany. It uh, has Dolby B, auto reverse, and it was built between the years 1977 to 1979. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. It's kind of unique. It almost looks like a, an old fashioned turntable with the top that you can tilt up as a glass cover. I picked this up about three and a half years ago in a nearby uh, town from a gentleman that repaired uh, tube gear. And uh, back in his uh, shop, he had all sorts of equipment, a lot of it in disrepair. So I saw this uh, sitting on one of the shelves and it came with the uh, owner's manual and then also a, a nice brochure to kind of show you the technology. And for example, uh, yeah, right here, you can see the forehead track. So it tracks uh, one direction uh, and then obviously the reverse direction and dual capstan, very strong motor. So let's, uh, let's see if we can take a little bit closer look. And uh, we have the eject button. Uh, there is no on and off switch, not at all. You just use the controls and it, it has the basic controls of uh, Forward, reverse, fast forward, fast reverse, pause, record, and so forth. You have um, a couple of controls up here for phones. So I can go ahead and use my pair of um, Sennheiser phones. And I can just plug that jack right into the phone jack over here. All right. So I can just plug that in right there. And then uh, I can use it around the house. And you say, well, why don't you just go ahead and use your cell phone? Well, I do that. And I'll show you another uh, use of the cell phone in conjunction with this older technology. So you have some inputs uh, for recording. And uh, it's kind of hard to see, but you have a line input and uh, a DIN input. The line input would be like your normal um, RCA cables. And I'll try to get a picture of the back as well. So you have your RCA cables. But in order to do uh, recording, I'd have to have one set. And then to uh, do playback, I'd have to have the other set as well. And uh, so that set of levers controls the uh, left and the right channel. If I want to use a couple of microphones, I can use these sliders as well. So um, another cool thing, it has kind of the early form of a VU meter. And that pops up so you can actually see the left and the right channel. You'll have your direction arrows for the tape. So when you go ahead and play that. So let me go ahead and take a... And give you a little shot of the back. Here so you we are on the track. back of the, the uh, cassette deck. And um, these are the things I was just talking about in terms of inputs and outputs, line. So you have uh, left and right. So I would have to have uh, this particular um, RCA cable set, set that up red to right, you know, white to left, and then do another set over here for, for the output. So in other words, to be able to play back what I've recorded or previously recorded. So that's a lot of cables. And you notice, um, if you've been looking, uh, this is a top loading cassette deck, all right? I don't have any room in my cabinet and uh, I wouldn't be able to open the top unless I'd have to take the top off. I could put it on the top of my cabinet, but then that means I have to get rid of uh, my turntable. I don't want to do that. So that's four different cables that I would have to run through the back into my preamp. Part of this hobby of um, collecting records and CDs and cassette tapes and, and stereo gear is learning about new technology from the past. And uh, this is what's called a DIN connector. And uh, it, notice this particular one has five pins, kind of a 180 degree bend there. And this will take care of replacing those four particular cables. And I would just take this one. It's a 10 foot cable I bought and it runs to the back of the cabinet into the back of the preamp, and then I would just plug it in here, supposedly. 
There we go. Okay, so it plugs in and does the work of four different cables. So let's go ahead and uh, back to our original show and take a look and see what we can do with this uh, cassette. Well, I've, I've always liked to record uh, songs onto cassettes from either radio or um, from records. But uh, another kind of quick and dirty way to do it is to use some newer technology. And that's using, obviously, a, a cell phone with uh, like Spotify. I actually use Tidal, an Apple phone adapter to plug in. And then this is what's called an AudioQuest uh, Dragonfly Red. It's a DAC. It's a digital to analog converter. And then um, go out and buy a cable. It's RCA cable with a jack on the end. This one's about uh, six foot long. And then uh, I end up plugging this into the DAC. I take uh, these two connectors, and like we saw just a moment ago, plug those into the back here to the inputs, and then go ahead and record off of Tidal onto cassette tape. So I won't demo that, but I've actually made some different tapes and uh, done so. I've used a, a Sony UX Pro. Uh, this particular tape, I have uh, did a mixtape. It's got some uh, maybe songs you might be familiar with. There you go. And um, instead of pulling all the albums, I just went ahead and pulled them up song by song in uh, Tidal and made it so much easier uh, to record and not have to reshelve everything. So I used that and I put a little sticker on it. This green sticker represents that it's recorded on this particular uh, deck. And then uh, behind it, you can't see it, but I actually have a Nakamichi. And so I've got a lot of tapes and I use like a blue sticker. There's a little bit of difference in terms of the recording characteristics of a, a Nakamichi deck versus a dual dual deck. So that's another technology. But let's go ahead and let's record go and get started. Way. And um, I'm going to start off um, with this Sony UX Pro 90 uh, tape, 90 minute tape. Uh, I bought this online from a guy I know uh, who lives in Mexico that resells new old stock and you know, there's NOS tapes, new old stock. And uh, so I thought, well, just for you guys today, I'm going to open this up. So let me go ahead and Pull it out of the wrap. Oh, I hate to do this. But anyway, it's got to be done. We're going to go ahead and use it. It's a very nice, uh, well-built tape. You notice it has uh, screws uh, to seal the two sides of the of the case. It's, um, in the past, they've known been known for like ceramic guides. Very well-built tape. So let's go ahead and put this tape in. We'll just pop open the uh, eject button. And uh, sometimes, obviously, this probably hasn't been used since 1992. Let's uh, shake it up a little bit. And uh, I could go ahead and start off maybe just by uh, fast-forwarding it a little bit. So let's see if I can blow it up. Oh, there we go. I'll fast-forward it to see if I can loosen it up a little bit. See, there's a little bit of a light down there. Let me pull this back a little bit so you can see all the controls. And it's spinning. So um, some things over here, you have like type one, uh, type two and type four tapes, Dolby reduction and things like that. So those are some unique things. I just go ahead and stop it and then quickly reverse the tape. I've already set things up in terms of the DIN connector again. And we're gonna go ahead next and uh, pull out a, a record that I bought on Discogs and it's uh, Rocky Burnett. The song is actually called uh, Toe in the Line. And uh, this particular one was um, recorded in 1980. And like I said earlier in the tape, it's still sealed. So it's 40 years uh, back when I was in college. I, <clears throat> I think I was 24 years old. So let me go ahead and open up the the, um, the LP and we'll see. Okay, I got the jacket out and let's, uh, let's check out the album. See how, uh, how good it is after 40 years. And... Um, yeah, it looks pretty good. So we're going to play that first song on there, and uh, the album looks pretty straight, at least to me. And then let me go ahead and set it up here on the turntable. And we'll do a little bit of a test. This is my, my VPI Scout uh, turntable. It has a separate uh, motor uh, separated from the plinth. Dust it off a little bit. 
Okay, and separate that a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and try um, setting up the record, so forth. I can't move the camera right now, but. All right, so it's on pause. And what I'll do is uh, I'll go ahead and drop the needle and then I'll quickly uh, change the camera position, hopefully. Well, here we go. Um, I've got the deck already set up. I've uh, pre-pressed the record in the play button to engage, you can see with the recording, and then I've got pause ready to go. Um, the uh, LP's up there spinning, and let me go ahead and drop the, um, the needle, and we'll play around a little bit with the VU meters, setting the volume, uh, or the limits, not on the volume, but the limits for the recording, and then um, we'll release the pause. Okay, so here we go. record and let me go ahead and uh, play back or uh, reverse the uh, tape a little bit we'll try uh, okay, drop the uh, the cover onto the cassette deck just wanted to show you this is my preamp this is where the din connector is connected to the back and now I want to be able to play back so I have a switch here that allows me to go ahead and add one or two decks so I've flipped it up I'll go ahead and put this uh, back up and let's cross our fingers and go ahead and play uh, the tape Thanks again for watching. Appreciate it.